Uh, hey folks, it's uh, time for a little bit of hot coffee here at Giant Bomb. Joining me on the couch today, uh, none other than Sweary, creator of Deadly Premonition. Sweary, thank you for joining us here today. Yeah, thank you. I'm back again. Yes, you're back. You're <laughs> back. Uh, Patrick's here on the couch with us this time. It's been a while since we've seen you, mm -hmm. uh, and you're now uh, out here talking about uh, the Deadly Premonition Director's yeah. Cut you're bringing to PlayStation 3. So, I guess my, my first big question is, you know, what is it that you wanted to accomplish with the Director's Cut? What was it that you felt was missing from the game that you shipped on the Xbox 360 that you wanted to, to add here? Xbox. Actually, we released the original version of, of the Deadly Premonition only for Xbox 360. But uh, it was so pity that uh, he couldn't deliver this fantastic game to the PS3 owners. So uh, this time uh, he, he had a chance uh, from the producer to uh, bring this game to the newly to the PS3 owners. So uh, he was so happy to, to have a chance, such kind of chance. When you were thinking about what to put in the director's cut, how much of it was what you wanted to put into it and how much of it was listening to fans and what you could address based on what they had played in the Xbox 360 version? So first of all, he didn't want to make a big change from the original version, but uh, after the release of the 360 version, uh, he received uh, a lot of feedback from the Western market. Some of them were the very po positive from the core fans, but some of them, them were the kind of negative uh, comment because, uh, for example, graphic is not so good or something like that. So uh, first of all, he wanted to improve that such kind of uh, point when he decided to bring this director's cut. He uh, decided to fix the control because uh, uh, so many fans uh, were complaining uh, about it. So uh, he decided uh, after listening to the uh, voices from the fans. So, <clears throat> were there any uh, story or character elements that mm. didn't make the, the 360 version that, uh, that you wanted to incorporate here that, that made it into the director's cut? Also, he decided to add the new scenario. In this new scenario, he brought that completely new character. But uh, he didn't want to destroy the main story or the main original gameplay. So, he decided to add the new story as a lot of cutscenes. So uh, he, he decided to insert those cutscenes throughout the games. For those uh, core fans who played the original version, they will be able to get the kind of a new translation after they watched the uh, new scenarios because uh, he added a new ending as well. You uh, have been very active on Twitter, Instagram. You interact with your fans a lot. Um, what do you get out of that? Like, why do you like interacting with your fans so often? Uh, you seem to be one of the few Japanese developers that really dives in headfirst to talk to all of your fans on Twitter. Mm. He'd like to be close to the uh, fans because uh, sometimes he can't recognize what is good, what is bad. Uh, he received a comment like, uh, uh, I don't like the QTE of Deadly Premonition. So uh, this time he decided to fix th that, that QTE scenes uh, so that the, uh, the player can much more easily uh, clear this game. So you, you've been living with, you know, Agent York and these characters and this world for a really long time now. Um, you know, Deadly Premonition and its various incarnations has, has been around for a while. Uh, are there, do you have any ideas uh, moving forward, uh, like in this universe or like after this, are you looking to just break completely from Deadly Premonition and, and uh, jump into something new? Well, of course, he's thinking a lot of various things. Maybe getting back to the sequels or something, or the uh, jumping into the new titles. But uh, at the moment, he's thinking that uh, everybody is pushing him to bring the yoke to the next game. Yes, he's uh, kind of enthusiastic to come back to the uh, Deadly Premonition world, but uh, he'd like to get a chance to do that. I'm, I'm curious, you know, when you go around the world talking to different Deadly Premonition fans, do you get a different reaction from different fans around the world where they like certain things or want to talk to you about certain things more than others? Like, when you go around the world talking to fans, like, wh what do you hear from people? So, no, there are so many fans who is loving the Deadly Premonition. And uh, some of them are saying that uh, please don't change anything, even if it was a very bad 
some some kind of control or graphics because it is a kind of a charming point of digital promotion. And of course, he was he is so pleased to hear such kind of comment as well. But uh, uh, it's been two years now. He's uh, kind of grow. He is now thinking that uh, he has to uh, change or improve this digital promotion. Some of the farm may complain about it, but uh, he directly say, "Trust me, this is so it's game as well." Don't worry. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you explicitly, Swery. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I guess the, you know, what has been your biggest takeaway from this whole experience? I know making that game took a number of years. Uh, it was shown at TGS, then you showed it again several years later, and it was a big surprise to a lot of people. Having gone through this whole experience, and now you're going through it again, what's been, what's been your biggest takeaway from, from this as you move forward? He had uh, so many issues during the development. This game was going to be cancelled four times. But uh, after those trouble, he finally reached to the release date. So he can remember the day this game was out. So uh, that was so impressive day, he's saying so. Well, glad you made it through it, Swery. Uh, Deadly Premonition Director's Cut coming to PlayStation 3 very soon. Uh, Swery, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you too. This this game will be available last week, April, in North America. And there you have it, yeah. straight from Swery's mouth. Deadly Premonition no lies. PlayStation 3. And uh, can't wait to see what's next. Thank you. Thank you.